This app is going to completely change the way you film with GoPro. GoPro Labs is a beta program from GoPro that allows you to unlock a ton of capabilities in the camera that go beyond the stock features. Like 12 gigabyte chapters, higher bit rates, wide color gamuts, turning off noise reduction, and so much more. All of this using QR codes that you just scan with your camera. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install GoPro Labs onto your GoPro, and I'm going to walk you through some of my favorite features. So to install GoPro Labs, you're gonna head over to their website and they have a page set up where you can find all of the firmware and also a bunch of information about GoPro Labs. And I'll leave a link to this website in the description so you guys can find it easily. So once you're on the website, you're just gonna scroll down. Um, it'll say getting started, have download firmware, generate QR code, scan it. We're gonna click on get started and that's gonna load up another page. Once you're on here, you're going to scroll down to download the GoPro Labs firmware, which is under how to install and use GoPro Labs firmware. Click on that, and then you're going to select whichever camera that you have that you're going to install the firmware onto. I'm on the GoPro Hero 12, so I'm going to download the Hero 12 firmware. So you just click on that, and then it is going to download, just going to allow. Okay, so now that we have the software download, it says update here. You're going to drag and drop that onto your micro SD card. So here I have micro SD card. I'm just going to drag that onto the SD card. It's copying over that update, and there it is. So now I have to just eject this SD card, take this SD card out. And now with your GoPro Hero 12 off, you're going to insert your micro SD card that in there. Now we're going to turn the camera back on. It'll say updating on the front screen and also the back screen, but it'll start flashing red as well. It may turn itself on and off a few times um, and it may beep some, but you're just going to wait until that fully updates on your camera. All right, and there it says update complete. You get a little check mark and that lets you know that you now have GoPro Labs installed on your camera. So you can press the mode button to exit out of that. Then we turn on the camera, it'll say GoPro Labs beta firmware and that lets you know that your camera has GoPro Labs installed on it. Now that your GoPro is set up with GoPro Labs, you can now start generating QR codes. You can do this either on the website or my favorite way to do it is through the app. And then through the app, you can do a bunch of different things to customize the settings on your GoPro. One of the biggest features I use on this app is actually setting up all of my camera settings straight from the app whenever I'm using a naked GoPro for filming on any of my cine whoops for FPV stuff, but you could also do um, a ton of other settings and there's a bunch of hidden features that are in the extra settings that you can use as well. So right here on the app, I'm gonna run you guys through just changing some of the settings. So right here you have resolution. You can change all of the resolutions right here from the app. Um, you can change your frame rate. So the first thing I'm gonna run you guys through is just some of the basic settings that you can use this for. Um, so like right here, you can change all of your camera settings. You can change your camera mode. I have it set to video right now. Um, and I just have it set to my usual settings for FPV. So 5K by seven, 30 FPS. Then you can go in here to ProTune. And one of the cool features is on shutter, you don't have to actually select what shutter speed you want. You can actually select your shutter rule. So I use 180 degree rule. So I just click 180 degrees and it'll automatically set my shutter speed to whatever is double my frame rate. So if I ever go in and change my frame rate 24 FPS, it will automatically adjust my shutter speed. And I can also change my ISO and all of that right here. And then say I want to set my GoPro to these settings. I just turn my GoPro on. I point my GoPro right here at the QR code. It'll have a little check mark, and then my GoPro will now be changed to those settings. Now if you guys want to unlock the true potential of GoPro Labs, you're going to head over to the Extras tab. And here there's a bunch of hidden features um, that you can use using this little drop down menu. Um, there's so many features you can scroll through here. Um, I would recommend that you guys go through and just check out every single one. There's so many different ones that I've used um, and I'm not going to go through all of them in this video, but I'll touch on some of my favorites. So probably one of my favorite features is actually being able to increase your bit rate. So on here, it's called BITR in that drop down menu. You can actually go in and up the bit rate more than what you would normally be able to do on the stock GoPro. So with the stock GoPro, you'd be able to do 100 megabytes per second on the Hero 12. But with the Hero 12, you can actually bump that all the way up to 200. Now you have to have a really fast SD card and it doesn't work in all video formats because sometimes it's just recording at such a high 
Now you have to have a really fast SD card to do this and you can't do it with all video formats because sometimes your camera just can't keep up with it. But for a lot of the stuff that I'm filming, I can push to 200 and still keep recording in 200 and I haven't had any issues. But I would recommend just for the sake of your file sizes and everything else, keep it around 160. That tends to be like the sweet spot for your bitrate whenever you're using this feature. Another great feature that you can use is the 12 gigabyte chapters. So typically if you're shooting on one of the GoPros, say like GoPro 8, 9, or 10, and you're recording a very long video, it's gonna get chaptered into four gigabyte sections. Um, now you don't have this on the Hero 11 or Hero 12, it automatically comes with that 12 gigabyte chapter size built into it. But on the GoPro Hero 8, 9, or 10, you are gonna have that 4GB chapter, so you wanna use this feature to expand that. So it's called 64BT is the code for it. Um, and that's going to expand it to 12GB chapters. So you're just gonna be able to have longer chapters without getting your videos broken up so much when you're recording those longer videos. So another feature that I love to use in this app is actually the noise reduction control. So your camera comes with a built-in noise reduction when you're recording. And when you're recording in low light, um, sometimes you can lose some of the texture and your details on the video because of that noise reduction. So if you go into the app, you can actually turn off your noise reduction, um, which was just entering the code zero into the input data on the app. And the code for this one is NR01. So you can go in and disable that, but that means you're gonna get all the noise still in your video. And you can still adjust this, so if you just want to like bump it down a little bit, it's one to 100. So say you want like half the noise reduction, you can use 50. Um, but if you just want to disable it completely, which is what I did, you can set it to zero. Now, if you do use this feature, that means if you're shooting in low light, you do need to run it through a noise reduction software. Um, so I use my own noise reduction software whenever I'm editing, so that's why I keep that feature um, turned off, because then I'll just run it through noise reduction in post-production on my computer. And that gives me more control over the noise reduction, because I can just change it in post-production, and that also gives me more texture in my details. Another feature that I really like is the histogram overlay that you can put on the camera so it's eight so the code for that is h-i-s-t and you can actually go in and change the contrast of it so how dark it is on the screen um, I have it set to five which is like the middle ground and then you can actually go in and change the positioning of it using h-s-t-p um, and then that will move it around on the screen um, this is just a great way for if you are shooting manual settings like I like to use ND filters and lock off my settings that I'm making sure I'm getting proper exposure so I can use that histogram to balance out my exposure and make sure I'm getting a good green exposure when I'm recording with the GoPro. Now the last feature I'm going to talk about is the level so if I'm shooting anything handheld on the camera I can actually turn on this level feature and I can scan it on here and it will now give me an on-screen spirit level so that will show me whether I have my camera rotated right whether the orientation is level vertically side to side, um, making sure that I can keep my camera level using that feature. These are just some of the features you can use using GoPro Labs. There's so much in this software that you can use. I highly recommend that you guys download the app and go and explore all the features for yourself. Um, I plan on making more in-depth videos on this in the future, talking about specific things that I use, um, certain scenarios, what features I would use for those scenarios, um, and really dive into how you can get the most out of your GoPro. So if that's something that would interest you guys, let me know down in the comments. I'll get some videos out on that soon. So yeah, if you guys liked today's video, please drop a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time with more FPV content.